For nearly eight decades, the evolution of Russian commercial aircraft engines has mirrored the nation's broader technological progression, transitioning from early jet experimentation in the post-war period to sophisticated fifth-generation propulsion systems, such as the PD-14 and PD-8. Today, these modern engines, developed by the United Engine Corporation under Rostec, represent not only technological progress, but also a major modernization of Russia's industrial base. To understand their significance, it is necessary to examine how aviation engines are classified by generation and how each phase of innovation laid the foundation for today's Russian civil aviation. Let us define engine generations by materials, temperatures, and technology. Aviation engine generations follow systematic classifications and are not arbitrary designations. They are identified through two main criteria, beginning with the materials used in high temperature and high stress components. The second concerns the technologies made possible by these materials, including compressor stage design, blade cooling methods, and overall thermodynamic efficiency. With each generation, engineers sought to increase compressor pressure ratios, raise turbine inlet temperatures, reduce overall weight, improve fuel efficiency, and integrate materials capable of enduring more severe operating environments. In Russian aviation, this evolutionary process began in the 1940s and continued steadily through to the most advanced turbofan systems in use today. Now let's explore the first generation, the inception of jet propulsion during the 1940s and 1950s. The first Soviet jet engines were created shortly after the Second World War, parallel with global advancements in aviation. These engines used simple combinations of steel, aluminum, and magnesium alloys. Their compressor pressure ratios ranged from 3 to 5.5, and turbine inlet temperatures were low by modern standards, between 950 and 1,150 Kelvin. These early engines brought major improvements over piston engines in speed and altitude, yet they were limited by the metallurgical technology of the period. Nevertheless, they laid the foundation for all future Soviet and Russian jet engines. The second generation, known for titanium, heat-resistant alloys and improved compression, emerged during the 1960s. At this stage, the Soviet industry adopted titanium and advanced heat-resistant materials that significantly improved compressor and turbine durability. Engineers introduced two-stage compressors with separate low-pressure and high-pressure sections, raising pressure ratios to a range of 7 to 13. Turbine inlet temperatures also increased, reaching up to 1,250 Kelvin. These innovations allowed aircraft to operate more efficiently, carry heavier loads, and fly longer distances. Although still basic compared to modern designs, Second-generation engines marked decisive progress toward advanced thermodynamics and reliability. The third generation, defined by the emergence of turbofan technology, developed during the 1960s and 1970s. For the first time, Soviet engineers introduced the two-spool turbofan layout with separate bypass and core airflow. This design greatly improved efficiency and reduced fuel consumption. Compressor pressure ratios now ranged between 15 and 20, while turbine inlet temperatures rose to between 1,300 and 1,450 Kelvin. A landmark of this generation was the D-20P engine, created under Pavel Soloviev in Perm. It became the Soviet Union's first domestically built turbofan for passenger aircraft. Another important example was the D-30KP engine from UEC Saturn in Rabinsk, featuring a bypass ratio of more than two. The D-30 family powered many key Soviet aircraft and remained operational for decades. During this era, engineers implemented internal turbine blade cooling channels for the first time, enabling significant temperature increases and better performance. The fourth generation was characterized by digital controls, composite materials, and new manufacturing innovations. It developed from the 1970s through the 1990s 
and saw compressor pressure ratios climb to between 30 and 35. Bypass ratios increased to between 4 and 6, and turbine inlet temperatures reached up to 1,700 Kelvin. This required advanced turbine cooling systems and numerous new manufacturing methods. Innovations of this era included monocrystalline turbine blades, directional solidification, ceramic thermal barrier coatings, powdered metal discs, and highly efficient core-to-bypass mixers. To handle larger engine diameters associated with higher bypass ratios, engineers adopted polymer composite materials for nacelles and external structures, reducing weight while maintaining strength. The center of Russia's fourth-generation civil engine development was the PS-90A engine, developed in Perm under Pavel Soloviev. Compared to the D30 family, the PS90A nearly doubled the bypass ratio, increased the compressor pressure ratio 1.9 times, and raised turbine temperatures by 200 Kelvin. These improvements reduced fuel consumption by about 15%. The engine featured digital automatic controls, a modular architecture, composite sound absorbing materials, and components optimized for long service life. Certified in 1992, it met ICAO emissions and noise standards and powered aircraft such as the L96-300 and the 2204. Now let's discuss the fifth generation, which includes the PD-14, the PD-8, and future Russian civil aviation propulsion technologies. This generation began forming during the 2000s and 2010s and represents the peak of modern Russian propulsion engineering. It reflects not just metallurgical and thermodynamic progress, but also a shift toward digitalization, modularity, and global certification. Fifth-generation engines feature compressor pressure ratios between 40 and 50, turbine inlet temperatures near 1,900 Kelvin, and bypass ratios between 8 and 10. Achieving these parameters required breakthroughs implemented during the PD-14 program. The PD-14, developed by UEC Aviadvedal, became the first modern Russian commercial turbofan fully certified in the post-Soviet era. Its bypass ratio doubled relative to the PS-90A, and turbine temperatures increased by another 200 Kelvin. Improvements in pressure ratio significantly boosted thermal efficiency, reducing fuel consumption by approximately 12%. The PD-14 program required mastering technologies such as large titanium fan blades, monocrystalline and intermetallic turbine blades, laser-perforated combustor liners, advanced acoustic structures, digital engine control systems, and welded or bliss compressor rotors. These systems were designed to meet strict global standards for emissions, reliability, and environmental impact. A major material science project accompanied the program producing a complete database of mechanical properties for all key structural materials. On 15 October 2018, the PD-14 received its type certificate from Russian aviation authorities. The PD-8 is a smaller but equally advanced engine built on the same technological principles. Both engines demonstrate Russia's entry into the global fifth-generation civil turbofan market, where efficiency, environmental responsibility, and digital control are essential. In conclusion, from the early steel and aluminum engines of the 1940s to the modern PD-14 and PD-8, Russian commercial aviation has progressed through five clear generations of innovation. Each generation advanced material science, raised turbine temperatures, improved pressure ratios, and introduced more sophisticated aerodynamic and thermodynamic solutions. The newest engines, using monocrystalline alloys, advanced composites, and fully integrated digital control systems, represent not only scientific progress, but a new technological era for Russian aviation. The certification and serial production of the PD-14 confirm the industry's ability to meet international standards and compete globally. As Russia develops sixth-generation propulsion systems and expands the PD series, the legacy of earlier generations continues to guide the future of its commercial aviation sector. If you think the video was informative, 
please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us